component i basic aspects of a system of criminal appeals a the opportunity of appellate testimonial of high court judgments need to exist for every criminal sentence it is unfavorable to have any kind of class of instance in which such test court resolutions are unreviewable b an appeal is not a necessary as well as important component of every sentence a the purposes of the first level of appeal in criminal instances are i to safeguard accused versus prejudicial lawful error in the proceedings resulting in sentence and against verdicts unsupported by enough evidence to authoritatively to develop and also improve the substantive and also step-by-step -step teachings of criminal legislation as well as three to foster and keep consistent consistent criteria as well as methods in criminal procedure the jurisdiction of the greatest court ought to usually be optional with the court c the framework of appellate courts need to be consonant with the purposes of appellate testimonial it is undesirable to have specialized appellate courts such that a court or a division of a court is designated appeals in criminal situations as its fundamental or unique job criminal appeals lawyer truths b as a whole an accused ought to not be allowed to take a charm until a last judgment damaging to the defendant has actually been gone into in the test court interlocutory evaluation in the discretion of the appellate court ought to be offered i to examine high court choices denying insurance claims of procedural rights that cannot be vindicated by appeals from last judgments consisted of among such asserted rights are lack of territory incorrect place of test and vitiating problems in the choice procedure for the petty jury or the grand court and three to evaluate test court choices on concerns accredited by the high court for this function. All interlocutory appeals should be allowed just by leave of the appellate court. d. An offender ought to be allowed to look for appellate review of an order giving a new test, where the accused asserts that the correct trial court disposition must have been a last judgment in support of the defendant. e. A defendant ought to be allowed to appeal from an order, not on his or her motion locating accused inept to stand trial how criminal appeals can save you time stress and money standard 21 to 1.4 prosecution appeals a the prosecution must be allowed to appeal in the adhering to scenarios i from an order disregarding a charge or information on substantive premises such as the unconstitutionality of the law under which the cost was brought or the failure of the billing tool to specify a crime under the law provided that the order is not made after the offender has been jeopardized and before the judgment or finding on the billing tool Two, from an order that ends the prosecution on various other grounds such as an order upholding the defense of dual risk order of foi found guilty order of foi acquit or denial of fast trial gave that the order is not made after the offender has actually been risked as well as prior to the judgment or searching for on the charging tool as well as three from pretrial orders approving activities to suppress evidence or to have confessions proclaimed inadmissible or to approve other alleviation where the impact is to seriously hinder, although not to completely seize, continuation of the prosecution. b. Where greater than one level of appellate evaluation exists, whenever an intermediate court has actually kept in favor of a defendant appellant, the prosecution must be permitted to look for additional review in the greatest court. C pending an allure at the circumstances of the prosecution, unique provision must be made regarding the guardianship of the defendant. In various other cases, offender must not be rejected freedom pending resolution of a prosecution appeal unless there is cogent proof that the defendant will not comply with the judgment of the appellate court. a. A definite amount of time after final judgment in the trial court, such as 28 days, need to be defined as the moment during which charms should be instituted. Criminal appeals lawyer fundamentals explained consequently, the appellate court needs to have power to amuse lures taken after the recommended time if the delay is discovered to be excusable. b. A high court, upon imposing sentence or disposing of post-trial movements, need to notify a defendant of the right to appeal, that the right needs to be worked out within a defined time, and that accused should immediately seek advice from with protection counsel in that regard. b. Protection guidance ought to encourage an offender on the significance of the court's judgment, of defendant's right to appeal, on the possible premises for appeal, and also of the possible outcome of appealing. 
advice needs to additionally advise of any post-trial process that could be sought before or simultaneous with an allure.